What's up, freaks? This is the Russian and the Freak, episode number 13, but it seems like it's just the Freak here. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm here. What the fuck are you Come doing? Why are you crawling under tunnels? Always doing some weird <laughs> shit. Holy crap. This is Russian and the Freak with the Freak and... The Russian. Episode number 13. Look. They can barely see your face. That's fine. I'm standing up because I was by myself, but now I'll, I'll sit down. I don't like sitting down. So this is episode number 13, Rush of the Freak. Today we're going to be talking about creating experiences in your family, in your life, for your family, especially for your kids, that they're going to remember for the rest of their life. Like, ask yourself this question. In the last, let's say today, let's start, let's, let's start for the year, actually. Let's reverse engineer it. In the last year, how many experiences have you created that your kids will remember a year from now or 10 years from now or all the way until they till the rest of their fucking lives how many and if you're having a hard time popping them off like this well let's narrow it down even more let's make it even harder how many times in the last month have you created an experience how many times you today this fucking day have you created an experience that your kids your family is going to remember forever like start, give me, take a second and think about that. Like if not, then what the fuck are you doing with your days? What are you doing with your times? What are you doing with your years? What's the point then, even if you're not creating any memorable experience that your kids are going to remember for the rest of their lives? So that's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to break it down. And this is the Russian and the Freak. This show is all about how to maintain your equilibrium and function in a dysfunctional world as a freak family. As you can see, it says right here, peak freak. And how to function as this peak a freak family in business and life so that you can transform your chaotic complexity into your own personal normalcy because that's what it is. This is normal. This is fucking normal. That's the way it should be. This is like a tongue twister for me. I would never be able to say this. <laughs> this is all about how to win in business, how to win in life and family and relationships. This is the real world, real freaking situations, real relationships, real fucking talk. Shit maybe you don't want to hear, but shit that you need to hear. It's no bullshit. Straightforward. Tell it like it is how it should be, and a lot of things you really need to, to hear. We're always bringing the fucking fire every second of every second. Let's do this. So we're talking about creating memorable experiences for your family, and we have one scheduled for this weekend, for actually tomorrow, 12 hours from now. We are starting. What are we doing? What do we have going on? Thank you guys for coming to the show. Thank you for watching us and giving us your time. Participate, please ask questions and post. Yes, tomorrow. Tomorrow, October 16, we are doing a 24-hour hike. 24 hours will take us to do this hike. And here's the thing, and I, I have to mention, because some of you were sending me messages based on our stories. Uh, I, I, where are you guys going? Are you going into the woods and you're going to be hiking for 24 hours straight? How long is the hike? Some of you were literally scared asking me, how is that possible to go for 24 hours? So here's the thing. The hike is only three miles. We will be doing this in Orange County, uh, uh, in Eucalyptus tra Trail, it's Chino Hills, right? County. Is that Orange? No. Uh, oh, my bad. So it's Chino Hills. It's Chino Hills. So now people are going to go to Orange oh. County. They're going to not even be there for the hike. Hold on. So it's uh, Eucalyptus Trail in Chino. Message right? us if you need to know where the hike is but, before you get more confused. Before the okay, Russian just so, digs you deeper in a hole and you end up in Tuckahoe or something. No, no. This hike is Tuckahoe is actually a miles. name of a town. It's in right outside of Rotten County. I mean, Rotten County. It's it's in Westchester, right across the... Can you imagine the, some people will go to Westchester? No, right we across the Tappan Bridge. You can do it anywhere you want. You can do it anywhere in the world. There's a guy, a project graduate in the Cayman Islands that's doing the 24-hour hike at the same time as we are. There's also a group in Idaho. Actually, we're talking about Tuckahoe. There's a group actually in Idaho that's doing the same thing at the same time for the same charity and fundraiser. So actually... Anyone can do it. And here is the thing. So we are doing this here in California, but like Steve mentioned, we have participating groups that decided, okay, since we cannot come and see you guys. Is that goop we, on your lips? Is that glow in the dark? Does that shit glow in the dark? I don't know. We would have to turn off what's the What's the color called? Is it, what, what's the color called? You name it. Pennywise? That color is definitely, it definitely is called Pennywise <laughs> in the, in the. God give me strength today. In the Halloween store, whatever. <laughs> so I will not joke the freak here. Anyway, so uh, you can participate. You can create your own challenge. Stop. Anywhere. I'm not looking at comments. I'm looking at the, the, the Pennywise stuff. 
anywhere in the world. So Miller, what's up? actually, Miller is some on there. people can go. Maybe you guys decide to do this in Rockland County, in New York. Who knows? But this is the whole idea behind the hike. The whole idea is to raise money for a great cause. What's the cause? And it's for Save Our Allies. Check out SaveOurAllies.org. Uh, uh, Tim Kennedy, who's a former UFC fighter and in the Army, and he's still active in the Army, still active in the Save Our Allies, about helping to extract Americans, U.S. troops, service members, allies, interpreters, animals, even the dogs that were left behind there in Afghanistan as they were abandoned by whatever leadership decided to make those calls. I don't know much about it, but you can research that stuff yourself. But I know it's a fucking shit show, and it was a shit show, and still is. And that's what Sarah Allies started off with, was immediately springing into action. Like, they were there within days, getting people out of there, sneaking in, sneaking out. I don't know how it works, I don't know the details of it, but just doing freaking work of true American fucking heroes. And now they're going to different levels and really just expanding the organization. And it's a it's an awesome cause. And that's what the donations are going to go for. And that's what all the other the other hikes around the the country and around the world, like Cayman Islands and Idaho, they're also going to be donating to the same the same cause. We've already gotten over a thousand dollars donations, and we didn't even start. Really, the donations usually don't come in until we're actually doing it because we're doing videos and talking about it while it's going on. But it's going to be an awesome foundation it's a, it's a coalition of just badass americans that are doing american shit because that's what we do we, we we are there to serve and to lead and that's what save our allies is for and it's it's a small organization but some badass motherfuckers and it's badass. not like a big corporate bullshit fundraiser like we've dealt with some other ones in the past and even some one military fundraisers that are just too corporate and like 3% of your donations go to the actual freaking efforts and 97% goes to the CEOs and all this other stuff. I understand some of those people have to get paid because they are working and that is their job. And if it's nonprofits or whatever the hell else, I don't understand how that all works. But I know sometimes the percentages of the money goes to the wrong places. So this one is nothing like that. And it's run by Tim Kennedy, who I've met, done some events with. Freaking awesome. Thank American, you so much, guys, American for doing hero. this. So that's what it's about. SaveOurAllies.org. Check it out. So I think... The whole goal is to create something bigger than we are, than you are. Like, think about it, how powerful this thing is. We decided as a freak family with the idea of 24-hour challenges during COVID, and we come up with crazy ideas. Some of you have seen us and maybe you've seen stories and saw the videos, how our freak family was doing it, and always with some great cause behind it. This cause is just so big and so huge that really is is something that we want to carry on with this during this 24 hour hike so you will be seeing videos you will be seeing stories on youtube join us and make your part participation matter join people ask your friends family to donate to uh, to this cause to this organization because this is saving lives it's all about saving lives and, and and guys remember if you are not here with us you can do this too anyone can donate anyone can start this uh, this challenge at your own location and the awesome thing about this a, a thing like this a challenge like this an event like this let's just take the whole part of the, the fundraiser out of it first of all first of all you should be you should be doing shit on a regular basis above and beyond yourself be grateful for where you are and what you have stop bitching and moaning complaining and crying and going on the fucking internet and all this other stuff. Get off, 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 off your fucking ass and actually go out there and do something. Do something that's actually making this fucking rock that we're spinning on spin a little bit better and leave your stamp on it. Stop fucking just complaining and crying and bullshit. You're doing nothing except dragging down the fucking energy. You're just a time and energy suck. It, so stop bitching about stuff and get off your ass. Go out there and do stuff. Something like this. Like something that has a higher meaning, a higher calling. Something with a purpose. And let's take that part aside. Let's even take that whole part of a, being a fundraiser and a charity aside. When we're doing coaching and our own schedules and our own calendars, and when we're co I'm coaching high-level CEOs or business owners, entrepreneurs on how to be more productive in the day, more efficient, how to have more fulfillment in life, we, we talk about different areas of life, different time blocks that they need to put on their calendar. One of those is family time. One of those is kids time. One of those is outdoor time. One of those is reflection. One of those is social time. One of those is fitness. 
There's probably some more that I'm not even thinking about. That was just six right off the top of my head. I'm sure there's more than that that fall into this. All six of those are in incorporated into uh, something like this, a hike, where you're inviting other people, you're doing it with your family, it's a challenge, it's a, gonna be, it's gonna, you're going to be suffering, you're going to be growing, you're going to be learning, you're going to be reflecting. Like, so many forces come together in something like this. And at the same time, now you put all, all that bundle, all that together, you just took off so many things at once, like killing 10 birds with one fucking stone, and then on top of that has the umbrella of, oh, and this is something bigger above yourself. This is a, a fundraiser, a charity for people who have shit, are, are in a much worse situation than you are, in your comfortable little fucking home, sitting there crying about people that don't get a, a needle stuck up in their ass, and you're sitting there crying about it, but guess what? It's motherfuckers like the people in Save Our Allies that allow you to sit there and bitch and fucking moan and give you the freedom to whine like a little fucking baby as a 40-year-old adult. Steve is Starting to get right fired now. up. Starting to get fired up. Oh, There's spit chunks flying oh everywhere. Oh, my God. The gulp went on my After every one of these the shows, I have to go to all these different screens, and I have to get, like, there's a, I, I get a screen spray. It's called spit remover, and I spray it on all my screens, and you have to wipe it down, because all the spit chunks keep flying. It's like chunks of protein bars and protein shakes you, and snot and boogers and stuff. You just gave someone a name for their new future spit remover screen cleaner. Anyway, in those in, in those events, like these events that we do, we've done the 24-hour push-up, right, and other challenges. Sometimes we have people join us uh, directly, sometimes indirectly, right? To, tomorrow, we're going to have people actually coming with us to a hike. And as Steve mentioned, you are connecting with other people. And as we know, the best time when we learn is with connection with others because we learn from people's stories as well. So you're going to be following up our stories, but also share your stories. This is amazing. So guys, if you're going to be doing um, actual stories and you hiking somewhere, tag us in a post. Don't be a stranger, even if we don't know each other. Like, think about it. This cause brings us together. And that's what 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 powerful behind behind everything else is is here. Like, we are together in this one awesome event. And let me tell you about this. So here's a few other things that you need to have on your daily calendar. These aren't even, these are just strategies and tactics that we do ourselves as in a family, as a business, and in coaching other people, other high level entrepreneurs, CEOs, is every day you have to have something to get excited about. Something on your calendar every fucking day to get it excited about. That a small level. It could be a small little thing. Like today, maybe I was going to get excited about this show. So when I'm doing other stuff earlier in the, in the day, having to write emails or do some administrative work or some boring shit, it fuels you knowing you have something to get excited about later in the day. Something that's fueling you, that thing that you have coming up in the day. Maybe it might be your workout. Maybe it's a time you're going to be reading. It's a time you're going to spend with your kids. Like we have a still workout coming up with the kids Slow later down. on today. You are so fast. This is like a four point Slow, speed. Listen, you record the shit, you pause it, you play it back in slow speed. You can hear what the fuck's going on. I got a lot, of say, a lot to say, not a lot of time to say it. So now you interrupted me. I don't even know what the fuck I was saying. You are so fast. I can even barely understand you. So you should have something to get excited about on a daily basis. We still have a workout coming up with the kids later on today. That's something to get excited about. That's fueled my entire fucking day. This show, you know, to share this information with you and talk about this awesome fucking charity and the people that are behind it and to thinking about the workout I have coming up with the kids. That fueled this day of all the shit I had to do all day since I woke up at 5, 5 a.m. Have something every day to get excited about. But then on top of that, you need a, a, something bigger on a monthly monthly scale. That's why we schedule these monthly challenges or monthly big events. And if you can add something that's going to be fucking hard in it, suffering, you should schedule some hard shit every month, schedule a memorable event every month, and guess what? Both of those two things are going to go together most of the time. So if you're going to schedule a monthly hard fucking suffering challenge, it's probably also going to be something you're going to remember forever. So that's like a double bonus. We're talking about force multipliers, combining shit together, and this stuff creates Stuff that you didn't even know existed. And that's what happens during these events. So now imagine each if each day you had something to get excited about. And it fuels you for that day. Now imagine you've got this big thing that you're... This hard, suffer fucking fest that you have coming up every month. It's going to weigh in your shoulder. It's going to be in the back of your mind a little bit. But you know what it's going to do? It's going to keep you fucking sharp. It's going to keep you on edge. Like, no, we have to do this. You, you, it's easy just to say we're going to do a 24-hour hike. But as the days creep up, now we're fucking less than 24 hours away. This shit's going to be fucking hard. It's going to suck. Like every one of these 24 hour challenges, make no mistake, they're fucking hard. They are grueling. Like sometimes they take weeks and months to recover from. You don't recover from one and the next one is already coming up. So knowing that that shit is coming up, it keeps you sharp. It keeps you fucking focused. It keeps you on edge. It keeps you motivated. It keeps you hungry. It keeps you a little fucking nervous and scared because you should be. That's the shit that keeps you sharp. 
Keeps you fucking laser beam focused, ready to attack, ready to kill, ready to attack the motherfucking hill. Yes, and we don't know how this will go. We never know because think about it. We've never done it before. We 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 only what we can do is prepare what we know and how we did this together because uh, uh, only me- preparation we have is is. Mentally preparing and fucking, we're gonna carb load because the kids want to carb load. They only do these challenges; they want to fucking carb load. We they a, are so excited about. We did a show yesterday, load. and they're they're just chanting about their carb load in the show with the break in the cycle that I do with the kids every Wednesday afternoon. That's the only preparation we did. We actually haven't even been on a hike on a hill in probably a couple, probably since the project last month and a half ago. I did the, the, this hike two or three times with the pro, three times with the project. Other than and before that was probably the project before that. We haven't been on a long hike. It's not like we've been training for this shit. It almost makes it even better. It almost makes it even more of a challenge. Like, we know we can do it, but it's going to fucking suck. It's going to be, let me tell you, after 12 hours, about 14 hour spot, when you know, right about 14 hours, because you're tired, you're, you're already sore, your, your joints are aching from these different challenges, and then you look at the clock, and to know that you still have 10 hours. That's usually the spot where it fucking kicks in. Because you already, you feel like you're ready to be done. You're like, all right, I had enough of this fucking shit already. And then you look and there's still double digit hours left. Yes. Once you get to nine, eight, it starts winding down. But then in that middle of the night spot also is the worst when you have no choice. You, have the, you do have the choice. All right, I can stop and be a little bitch. And I was a little, little bitch. Sometimes I would go to sleep for three hours. You can have a rest and a recovery if you need to. It's how many can you get in 24 hours? If you need to stop, you need to recover, you do what you have to do. But that's where the challenges come in. When you know that you're ready to be done, you're ready to fucking stop, and there's still 10 more hours of nonstop doing the shit you're about to do. Some and fun shit. Shit gets yes, me excited. Shit, I'm dripping sweat out of here right this now. This is how Ready we, to fucking roll. So the preparation, right? So we, uh, we, how we get prepared in a lot of different things is to share. You put the glow goop. in the dark goop around your face. So when you're walking in the middle of the night, the, it's, it, it's reflective <laughs> and you're very safe. Like we don't even, we're not even bringing flashlights with us. <laughs> Where is she, she, the Russian is just going to run point and go in front and lead the way. And it's going to be like Rudolph the motherfucking red-nosed reindeer with that goop, that glow-in-the-dark goop that's going to shine probably, the way. You know what? I probably will glow after yesterday injection that they did to me. They probably will. <laughs> but anyway, that's a separate story. Uh, guys, this is what we do. We put our, we created in Google Keep documents, we created 24-hour hike and we put our ideas, what we need to take on the hike. So he is making his notes. I'm making one, my notes and they go into the one document. So we created a mastermind. Mine is practical stuff. Mine is practical stuff like, you know, flashlights, hydration, first what? aid, first aid true. kits, additional socks, additional uh, gear for someone else, extra shoes. And then you see on the Russian side, you see hairspray, <laughs> oh. nail polish. Fucking high heels. Like, what are you going to do with hooker heels? I want to see. You have to do one of the laps in hooker heels. Can you want to? I'm going to be doing them in flip flops and sandals because I have a broken fucking toe and I can't get shoes on them. I have all these awesome fucking pairs of hiking boots. I have like four different pairs of hiking boots. I've only used a couple times each. Can't even use them because the toe doesn't fit inside it because the pinky toe is the size of my freaking big toe. Toe is still broken. Didn't recover, but it does not. That's not. Whatever. Stop it's a little pinky right? toe. That doesn't mean anything. People have as much. But I want to mention this. Look. How we overcome this? I mean, we didn't stop this. This was a, a challenge that was prepared ahead of time. He figured it out, bought the hiking uh, sandals, whatever you call them, and we're going on that 24-hour hike. So that's one thing. But my my point is here that, guys... Are you going to do a lap in high heels? Are you, are you, no, I will not do that. And, guys, listen. Do a one lap in hooker heels. That'll be great. How I, am I going challenge to... you. I challenge you to do... Who wants her to do a lap... It's only three fucking miles. A lap in hooker heels. You can do it when it's not dark. You can see where you're going. It'll be like one of the slower laps. I think you should do one in hooker heels, or else it's bullshit. You want to? You want to always? You, you put them on your checklist. What do you need the fucking heels for? If you put them on your checklist, they are not on the checklist. Okay, and then oh, li- he's messing there's with lipstick me right now. and perfume and all kinds of goops and lotions and fucking hair dryer. You're gonna do a hair. You're gonna dry your hair in the middle of a fucking mountain. Like, let me holy tell you, shit. freak loves freaking funny stuff. Okay, anyway. Uh, hooker here, so maybe that's what I have to do. But the whole idea is to give you idea, guys. When in, in you know in, in your household, if with your partner, if you coming up with something, you have a challenge or you brainstorm, you maybe want to start a company, something improve your life. Share your ideas together because that's 
when the uh, when the uh, when you can brainstorm when you can really come up with great creativity and for all the women out there guys bring be, your heels and lipstick everywhere you go very be, important besides your man with his ideas with his creativity whatever he wants to do it like ch uh, challenge them but really support them in their mission because Steve was the one that, you know, connected with team and he figured this out, this whole challenge. And I'm right with him. We are all as a family on board with this because I want to be challenged. I want our kids to be challenged. Why not? And plus we support the great cause. So the whole idea is to today think about how you really manage your household. What do you do at home? How do you create a better relationship with your partner? Because sometimes I hear this all the time, just complaining and nagging and being just not on the same page as we sort of speak, that people say on the same page. Like check today, do a self check and see where you're going. Okay, because this is important. You might create something fun, maybe your partner will create something fun and both as a whole the entire family, you guys can scale in your life. Did you even take a breath during that whole speech? No, Holy like I'm fuck. learning from you. Holy fuck, you didn't even take a breath. That is a skill. That is a skill. So anyway, you, you can check the link in the description of this video. I'll also put it down in the comments. On Instagram, you could go to the link up in the bio. It's we're on the Twittergrams and MySpaces, all that stuff. Don't poke us. Just you can donate to the charity. You can come and join us here if you want to know the exact location and, and details. Send a private message if you need help with anything else. This other type of things we're talking about, this structure and the deal, dealing with your, your schedule and the accountability and discipline that we're talking about when it comes to these time blocks and how to balance work-life balance is bullshit, but how to have that work-life intention and work-life attention to all these different areas of your life. So you're not spending more so much time in your business where you're, you're fucking up with your family and your fitness or the other way around. Send a private message. We can also talk about different types of coaching programs that can help you out. Show up for the hike. Donate to the hike. Donate to this cause. SaveOurAllies.org. Go check it out. We will see you on the fucking mountain. And we will check in with you along the way as we're doing it all through the freaking night. 24 straight motherfucking hours. 24 hours straight, guys. I will see you there. Check now our stories. Now crawling fucking escape tunnel. This is like you should see this. I was crawling before. Now he's crawling on the floor. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Again, direct message us. Di send us a message. Ask us questions. And in case please. no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. awesome. You are fucking awesome. No, no excuses. excuses, guys.